Over 90% of patients with transfusion-dependent thalassemia, an inherited blood disorder, no longer needed monthly blood transfusions years after receiving gene therapy, according to an international phase 3 clinical trial that for the first time included children younger than 12 years of age. 22 patients were evaluated, ranging in age 4 to 34 years, including pediatric patients enrolled at Ann Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Results were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. It is impressive that so many patients in the study, including the youngest patients, acquired transfusion independence that was durable, said study co-author Jennifer Schneiderman, MD, MS, from the Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders at Lurie Children's and Associate Professor of Pediatrics at the current study represents the next step in moving this intervention into clinical practice, which will increase access to a potential cure for patients with transfusion-dependent thalassemia. People with thalassemia do not make enough functional hemoglobin in their red blood cells, which interf. It also poses a risk for graft-versus-host disease. This gene therapy study uses the patient's own stem cells that were treated in the lab with a modified virus to add functional copies of the gene that is defective in thalassemia. Before the new cells can be infused, the patients need to receive chemotherapy, which typically involves a hospital stay of at least four to five weeks for close monitoring for fevers, infections, and other potential complications. Four patients had at least one adverse event that was considered by the investigators to be related or possibly related to gene therapy. All events were non-serious except for thrombocytopenia, low number of platelets in the blood, in one patient. No cases of secondary cancer due to the chemotherapy or gene therapy were observed. As in the earlier stage trials of this gene therapy. The small number of patients who did not achieve transfusion-free status needed transfusions less often. Based on the positive results of this Phase 3 trial, Bluebird Bio, Inc., the trial sponsor, has applied for the FDA review, which is expected to be completed in the summer 2022. Research at Ann Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago is conducted through the Stanley Mann Children's Research Institute. The Mann Research Institute is focused on improving child health, transforming pediatric medicine and ensuring healthier futures through the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Story Source Materials provided by Ann Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Betabaglogene autotemcell gene therapy for non-beta-0, beta-0 genotype beta thalassemia. New England Journal of Medicine, 2022, 386, 5, 415 doi, 10. 1056, NEJMOA 2113206 Cite this page. Anne Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Gene therapy for thalassemia ends need for transfusions in young children. Phase 3 clinical trial included children younger than 12 years. Science Daily. Gene therapy for thalassemia ends need for transfusions in young children. Phase 3 clinical trial included children younger than 12 years. Science Daily. Retrieved February 22, 2022 from ift.tt/newftgia7 Ann Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Gene therapy for thalassemia ends need for transfusions in young children. Phase 3 clinical trial included children younger than 12 years. Science Daily. https colon slash slash ift. tt. nwfdga7. 
accessed February 22, 2022. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.